Senator, thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, I want to get your take, first of all, about uh, the cabinet nominees and what the Democratic strategy is. Clearly, there is a delay in process to uh, move some of these to next week. What's your assessment of uh, where your party is on, on facing the questions, even though you don't have the votes here? Well, Brett, the first thing is, I think all the Democrats are asking is the same thing that Republicans and Democrats have asked in previous administrations. Make sure that you've filled out the appropriate ethics files. Make sure that the FBI's done the kind of background checks. If the committee re requires tax, reform, tax returns, uh, as they have in the past, do exactly the same process and procedure. Some of the nominees, like uh, Mike Pompeo, who will be up before the Intel Committee for CIA director on Thursday, they have complied. A whole n another number of the nominees have not complied at all. And and uh, I frankly think it would be uh, extraordinary if we were to suddenly start taking votes before all of the nominees' uh, paperwork was done. And I don't know what's been the, the holdup, whether it's been slowness on the nominees' parts or whether the transition took longer to get this to the, their act together. But uh, clearly, I think there was a, a back and forth yesterday. Uh, the Democratic leader sent the exact same letter that the Republican leader had used in 2009, saying this is the prerequisite before we deal with Obama nominees, the same prerequisite ought to be in place for Trump nominees. Yeah, but when you're talking about, Senator, uh, intel positions, national security positions for the incoming president, do you have any doubt that these votes are going to happen before Inauguration Day and that his team will be in place, much like President Obama's team was in place on the first day? Well, that's what I'd hope, but my hope would be that we see all of these nominees get their paperwork in. I know, you, uh, and this is more than paperwork. We've seen, again, the head of the Office of Congressional Ethics, who's been there, I think, for 20-plus years, say it was unprecedented in terms of folks not responding and, and getting this uh, material in. You know, in, a, in an era, especially when you've got somebody like the president